find the equation of the tangent plane to the surface defined implicitly by yz natural exponential raised to the xc plus 7 equals 0 at the point 0, negative 1, 7. And so looking at this equation for our tangent plane here, we notice that the first thing we need to do is find the gradient. So we want to find the gradient at the point 0, minus 1, 7. That's going to be the normal vector to this surface at this point. So the first thing we need to do is find the partial derivatives. So we have the partial derivative with respect to x is going to be y times z times z or z squared times the natural exponential raised to the xz. We have the partial derivative with respect to y, which leaves us with z times the natural exponential raised to the xz. And then last but not least, we have the partial derivative with respect to z. And so here, we notice that we have two z's. Right, we have the z in the front of our surface as well as the z in the exponent of our natural exponential. So we need a product rule. So this will be y times 1 times the natural exponential raised to the xz plus yz multiplied by the derivative of the exponential, which is x times the natural exponential raised to the xz. And we can simplify this, rewriting this as y times the natural exponential raised to the xz multiplied by 1 plus xz. And so now we're ready to take these partial derivatives and evaluate them at our given point. So we are evaluating each one of these partial derivatives at the ordered pair, or the ordered triplet, excuse me, 0, negative 1, 7. So we have the partial derivative with respect to x at 0, minus 1, 7, which is going to leave us with a minus 1 multiplied by 49 times the natural exponential raised to the 0. And of course, we know anything raised to the 0 goes to 1, leaving us with minus 49. Next, we have the partial derivative with respect to y at the ordered pair, 0 minus 1, 7. So this is going to be 7 times the natural exponential raised to the 0, leaving us with just 7. And then last but not least, we have the partial derivative with respect to z at 0 minus 1, 7, which leaves us with minus the natural exponential raised to the 0 times 1 plus 0, which gives us minus 1. So therefore, our normal vector here, defined by the gradient at the point 0, negative 1, 7, has components minus 49, 7, minus 1. And we're now ready to go ahead and find the equation of our tangent plane. As always, keeping in mind that we are dotting our normal vector here defined by the gradient with that position vector p naught p and setting this equal to zero. So plugging this in, we are taking the dot product of the vector minus 49, 7, minus 1, and we're dotting this with x minus 0, y minus minus 1, so y plus 1, and then z minus 7. So when we apply the dot product here, we have negative 49 multiplied by x plus 7 times y plus 1, and we have minus 1 multiplied by z minus 7 equal to 0. And so simplifying this, we'll distribute the negative 7, we'll distribute our minus 1, and then we can combine up our like terms. So I have negative 49x plus 7y plus 7 minus z plus 7 is equal to 0. And so we have two constants here to combine. 
negative 49x plus 7y minus z plus 14 is equal to 0. And therefore, our beautiful final answer here for the tangent plane at this point to the given surface is defined as negative 49x plus 7y minus z is equal to negative 14.